kick things off today, we are very excited about our next guest and to share his story with you. You know, we never know what's around life in each corner that we may face. And while for Steve Emt, his life did take a drastic turn. However, he was able to take that scenario and turn it into some positives that we get to chat about today. So Steve, good morning to you. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing great, Natalie. Thank you very much for having me on today. You're rocking the USA. Of course, you are a uh, para-Olympian. But before we discuss everything that is happening there, I do want to take a turn back. I know you're very open about your story and what happened because you were an athlete prior to a tragic accident. So in your words, let's talk a little bit about when your life took a drastic turn. Absolutely. You know, growing up, I've, I've been an athlete my entire life. Uh, my parents did an incredible job, you know, having me around the fields and the courts as a kid. I have older siblings, so I was always involved in athletics. You know, all through high school, I was a stud athlete, one of the most popular kids in school. Could have, could have, you know, been big time professional athlete. Uh, I went to the University of Connecticut and walked onto the basketball team there. So, uh, you know, basically, I graduated high school and I went through college as, you know, being a stud athlete. I was an All-American soccer goalkeeper in high school. I was. I mean, I'm still the all-time leading scorer in the history of my high school for basketball, and I was also a baseball player. So I had an opportunity to play and participate in a lot of sports growing up through college. Ultimately, led me to the University of Connecticut, where I was a walk-on, and playing with future professional basketball players like Ray Allen and Daniel Marshall and Scott Burrell and some incredible NBA players. And just, you know, having a time of my life, living the dream and, um, you know, getting a quality education and playing basketball and traveling the country and just, just loving it, loving life. And then, unfortunately, I hope you don't mind, and I'm only, you know, going on your words, one mm -hmm. decision really changed it all, if you will. Absolutely, yeah, and, it, and, that's, and that's what it comes down to, one decision that can change our life instantly, and, and I'm a perfect example of that. 25 years old, got my whole life ahead of me again. I could have been, you know, I could have gone overseas and played professional soccer. Normally, at 25 years old, we're, you know, pretty much coming out of college, we're setting our lives, we're we're talking about the future. Maybe we're going to settle down. We're going to get the house and the, and the white picket fence and the dogs and the kids and settle in our careers. But for me, I made a terrible decision one night to get behind the wheel of my vehicle after I've been drinking and try to drive home. And obviously, I did not make it. It was a horrific crash, uh, multiple injuries, multiple days of coma. And I woke up at 25 from my coma and I was told, you know what, Stephen, you've been in a bad automobile accident. You're never going to walk again. You know, how How do I, what's going on here? Please wake me up. This is a nightmare. You know, I'm, I'm Steve Amp. I'm invincible. I'm untouchable. I'm the stud athlete. I'm the, the West Point cadet. I'm a UConn basketball player. This can't be happening to me. But I made a terrible decision, and I'm living with it every day now for the rest of my life. I can only imagine when you found that out, that the time, that, that maybe a darkness period, and, you know, you are now removed from that period. You have changed the direction of your life, and positivity seems like that is on the forefront and why you wanted to share your message. And also, by the way, a Paralympian, too. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's and, I, and it's, there was times in the hospital, you know, when things like this happen to us, there's this, the stages of grief and denial and acceptance and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And you know, until I allowed myself to accept what had happened and what I had done to myself, I couldn't start the healing process. And that's and that's huge for anybody going through anything major impact in their life. You have to accept what's going on in your life right now. I was in denial for months, uh, if not a year or so. You know, this didn't happen. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to walk again and whatnot. And until I finally accepted it and allowed the healing to start, that's when that's when success came in. And I I made a decision in a rehab hospital. And it is that word, decide again, decision. I made a decision to get on with my life and not be the negative person I was in the hospital and not, you know, be mad at the world and be mad at myself and, and be a miserable person and people I didn't want to be around. You know, I'm the life of the party. And uh, when I come into a room, I, you know, I suck the energy and the air out of it. I love, <laughs> I love being with people. And for many, many, many days in the hospital, that wasn't me. And I made that decision right there in the hospital to Steve. go back to being to Steve and, and get on with life and be successful. You know, we've only have a minute left, but there's two things I want to get your thoughts on. I want to know what Steve was like pre, as far as like your positivity, your outlook, pre-accident and post-accident, and how you've turned that into a message that you want to spread to everybody, really. Life happens. And, and I'm the same person I was before my accident, but things are going to happen in life. 
and we have to accept that they're going to happen. It's how we respond to them. It's changing our focus. We can't think about the actual events that are happening. We have to turn our attention to how I'm going to react to those events. And if we can do that and change our method and change our thinking and change our approach to life, we're going to be successful because life is beautiful and things are going to happen. It's inevitable. But how we react to those, that's what we can control. And if we control it, we have the right plan with the right mindset. We have it in our heart. We will be. Not we can, but we will be successful. Steve, we are out of time. One, thank you so much for being with us and sharing your story. Two, we didn't even get to talk curling. So that means you have to come back, okay? When you're up on the training again and before the next Paralympics, will you come back and join us? I would absolutely love that. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. SteveM.com if you want to learn more about Steve. And again, what an inspirational story. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. You have a wonderful day.